Hi there again, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms. And today we're going to take a look at what all these numbers on the Sigma lenses mean. Here I have an 18 to 300, 1 to 3.5 slash 6.3 DC circle with a slash in it, 72 millimeter. Well, what is that all about? Well, we're going to take a closer look and see what these numbers on our lenses mean and what they're trying to tell us. If this video helps you out, hit me up with a like button underneath and as always subscribe to our channel for future unboxing sessions and tutorials such as this and don't forget when in Miami visit me at digitalgoja.com showrooms let's take a closer look at these Sigma lenses and find out what all these numbers mean let's take a look and see what all these numbers mean on these lenses for example here I have a very popular 50 millimeter this is the 1.4 and it says one ratio the two dots to 1.4 dg and then the next number there says a little circle with a 77 what is that well that means that that is your filter thread size dg is sigma's designation for a full frame sensor lens that means that this lens is a 50 millimeter if you put it on a full frame camera so for example, here we have a Canon EOS 5D Mark III. This one happens to be a Canon EOS mount for full frame, so this will work perfectly on this camera. Now, unlike the original manufacturers, you can also mount the DC lenses on this camera, but they just will crop out your sensor and won't work at all. As opposed to if you had an original Canon lens and you try to use something like this, which is an EFS lens onto this camera, it literally will not mount. But the third party manufacturers like Sigma don't have that option. They give you the same mount. It's just you as the photographer have to make the decision which lens to get for your particular camera. Now, of course, this lens will go onto a crop sensor camera like a T6 that I have here. It's just, it will no longer be a 50 millimeter. Remember with Canon, you have the 1.6 conversion factor. The 1.4, that's the maximum aperture on this lens. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the only aperture, but that is the maximum aperture you can open up on this lens, which happens to be a continuous 1.4. You can close it down to F16 and F22, but on this lens, it's telling you what the maximum aperture is. Now, let's look at another example. Now, this lens is a 30 millimeter, 1 to 1.4, and DC, which is for crop sensor. So this one happens to be for Nikon. So that means that I can put it on a Nikon crop sensor camera, such as this one, the D3200. So, go ahead and place it on here. And now this one has a 30 millimeter perspective lens, which is perfect as a small telephoto, but it is a constant aperture on f1.4. That doesn't mean I can't change apertures if I want to, I can actually close down on the aperture on this. Let's see here. See, so I can stop down to f16, but the maximum aperture on this lens is 1.4. So, I can open it up and leave it at the maximum aperture of 1.4. And again, 62 millimeter is your thread size for your filters. Now, let's go on to a zoom lens. This one is an 18 to 300. And when it gives you those numbers, that means that it is no longer a prime lens. That means it starts out at 18 millimeter. And I can zoom all the way to 300 millimeter. So this stops anywhere in between, but I can start out with a nice wide angle all the way to a 300 millimeter telephoto. And again, it shows you that it's a one ratio to 3.5 slash 6.3 DC. And again, there's your filtered diameter, which is 72 millimeter. Now, the first number says at, at 18 millimeters, probably from about 18 to about 28 or 35 millimeter, the maximum aperture is 3.5. And then when I start zooming past that to 50, 80, all the way to 300, now the maximum aperture changes to 6.3. This is what is called a variable aperture 
lens. That means that your aperture is going to change depending on how much you're zooming. And here again, this is a DC lens. So that's Sigma's designation for a crop sensor. So that means that I can go ahead and now place it onto my Canon T6. And this becomes a fantastic all around lens. So now I have anything from 18 millimeter all the way to 300 millimeters. And of course, Again, we have that filter thread size, which on this one happens to be a 72 millimeter. So that's the filters that you would purchase for this particular lens from Sigma. I hope this video answered your questions on what all these numbers mean on our particular Sigma lenses. Happy shooting.